Hi there guys, it's Carrie from Carrie's Designs and I wanted to show you a project that I worked on um, this weekend. So I got on Marion Smith on a piece of um, craft.com and I ordered her digital download and I am in love with her digital downloads. Um, I've been wanting to make this book for a while and I finally um, got the chance to make it and I absolutely love it. Um, what her digital downloads look like, <clears throat> excuse me, when you print them off, um, this is from the Journey Kit that you can get from her from her website and this is how it prints off so here's like a page right here and you would cut your page out and you would cut it out so that it would you just fold it you can um, you know glue it together or um, ATG it together or whatever and these print out really really nice now I don't have a laser jet I have an inkjet I have a HP link or inkjet printer and it prints out wonderfully and the paper I use is from um, I think this paper is from Office Max and it's the textured and it's like a parchment looking paper and I love this you can use regular um, card stack on this I just like the texture of it because it it feels really nice and um, like I said this one's from the journey kit so you get two page or you get two pages that you fold over and a little a uh, couple little journaling spots so um, I'm going to show you that and this is also from the journey kit and this is one of my favorite pages of all time um, and you can also um, I also order some of her regular digital um, downloads and for the journey book or I'm sorry for the primrose book which this one is um, I did I used the primrose and I used some of the other digital downloads and I just reshaped or I resized them and um, I just had to play around with it to see which pages um, needed to be what size and I'll show those to you um, I printed this out and it's on a real, a real thick chipboard that I have and I distressed it and I used on this project um, I used the Helmar 450 quick dry adhesive I am in love with this stuff um, I use my hot glue gun a lot but after this because this is like a cold glue um, it's like a cold glue gun is what it reminds me of um, absolutely positive I love this stuff so let me go on with the book and so um, I went ahead and I added the journal right here with my little label maker and this is a Prima trinket and it was white and I just colored it actually red with my um, red with my Copics well, let me turn on another light let's try that so Okay, that looks a little bit better. And what I did with my paper is um, I printed it out, I let it dry, and I kind of heat set it with my um, my hot or my heating gun um, because when you do a an inkjet, um, if you spray anything on it, it will tend to run. So um, I heat set it, and then I sprayed some Lindy Stamp Gang all over it. And when I sprayed the Lindy Stamp Gang on it, I crumpled it up, and then I text and so that gave it a little bit more texture. And then um, I put some of the, let me find it, um, I used this on it. So this is the Clouding Helmuth Studio Multimedia Matte. And it gives it just a really cool finish. Um, and then I have these nibs, <clears throat> and you can see the, the tape on it a little bit. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, this was like a really, really uh, nice gold color which I didn't want so I took some black rubbing buff and I just rub it you know rubbed it out and that kind of thing and then um, the back is just this and when she did hers she left the holes there's like four holes here I did not like seeing the holes so I went ahead and took some of the um, lace I had and put it there and then on the back I did some washi tape so and then this is the um, Coptic stitch that she did in her um, video and it took me like five times <laughs> to figure this out um, I don't know if I'll do the Coptic stitch again I might it wasn't as bad as I thought it was um, but it took me quite a while to get it figured out once I did it was okay and so I'll show you the book so here we go and I have these little things sticking out um, I've had these for quite a while and I just 
decided to use them. I have a little Tim Holtz um, clip back here and it's just back there just to be. So you open it up and um, I cut, this is from Marion Smith as well and this is part of her, um, this is from her journey. Oh no, this is an add-on. Um, I think this is an add-on and you get, you get this little, this digital download, not this, and then three of the library cards. So you get a green one, a blue one, and a pink one. And I just stressed them and I used the heck out of my walnut stain this time. And then I had these little, um, little postage stamps and I just inked them up and attached them with my tiny attacher and that one I glued on. And, um, <clears throat> this is from, I don't know, Kane Company maybe. And I used that. Um, I put a lot of pages in here. I used the pages that, um, she supplied in the digital download. And I used a couple of my own from my own stash. And I also used, um, some ledger paper and this is some ledger paper now this is a one of her digital downloads and once I got done printing out everything and um, laid it out then she had two different filler pages that you would just flip your paper over and put it through your printer again and there's a journaling on it and I love this book because it's gonna be a journal um, not sure what type yet I've got a couple of journals going on right now so this one may wait till next year but um, this book was fun to do. And then I use a lot of my Allie Edwards stamps. This is the Allie Edwards I got this month. And, um, but this was, um, some, uh, ledger paper. And it's from one of my thrift store finds. And I just used it in here. It worked really, really well. This is Seven Gypsies paper right here. Let me scoot this down a little bit here. Let's see this a little bit. So this is Seven Gypsies paper right here. And then this was one of my stamps that I used. I love this stamp. And I used a lot of washi tape in here. Um, this is another one of her, her pages. And it's from another digital download. And um, I love. I just used it. And it's, it's a little bit smaller than the other pages, which is fine. And I just flipped it over. And this is the other filler page that she had, the other journal. So, and it's all sewn in here. It's really cool. And then there's some... Um, and this is a big book. It's got a lot of pages in it. And then, um, Be Simple. Oh, it says The Simple Joy of Everyday Life. So, I mean, I, there's tons and tons of room in here to journal. And there's my little paper clip. Her, and like her digital downloads. This, it's so unreal. These are just wonderful digital downloads. Um, <clears throat> this is a Kane Company paper, I think. I just put a doily. So it went on both sides. And then I did Lindy Stamp Gang some of the pages because they had nothing on them. So I did that. And it's more of the yellow journal. This is Marion Smith. And see how that comes out. Really pretty. And you don't really have to worry about lining this side up with this side. You print the side you want first. And then you just print this. And she has it so that you can print this out at a bigger size. So no matter what, it's going to be... Um, you're going to get parts of this page on this side so that worked out really really cool and I inked all these edges and there's another printout I love 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 and then I had some of my own stuff in here in this little envelope this is a Marion Smith one these are Marion Smith and the pages are just they're just wonderful like I said, it's a big book. This is Seven Gypsies. I added some stuff in there. Marion Smith right here. Um, this was part of her. It came. There's tickets here, and then she's. This was the part of the kit, and it's a little envelope, and it's got a little journaling spot on it. So you either can use it or you don't have to use it. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with it, and. Oh, I can't get it on me. It's so tight. So I just put it on here with the tickets. And it seems to stick pretty well. Sure it does. And then and there's just that page. 
some more. And then I made a pocket here out of um, one of the digital downloads of the, the postcard. And this is another one of her little things that you get in the kit. And it's a little journaling. Another little journaling. You need it. So um, there's tons of real estate in here for journaling. And then this one, I love this one. This is one of my favorite ones. And I think I'm gonna put a little tab on that. I didn't do as much decorating in here just because the paper itself is, it speaks for itself. Love this one. And then more. And this was just something I had gotten and just stuck it on there. This beautiful. This is um, a Prima paper from one of my Prima stacks. And then I do a butterfly. I love this one. And you just want to mix it up. And this is from my stash. The other side of the Prima paper. And you can mix and match these, which is really, really nice. So there's that one. I love, this is one of my favorite ones of all times. I love, love, love this one. So, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. There's just, a, I put a lot of pages in here and you don't have to put this many pages in. Um, I tend to put a lot of pages in. Here's another pocket I made. And it's got two little journaling cards and these came with the kit. This didn't, but you can make a you know journaling cards or you make pockets out of anything. So there you go. There, there's my Primrose um, journaling book, and I have that one. And I'll show you real fast. I should have had it over here. Sorry. I know you guys have seen this, but there's my the journey book I did from Miriam Smith that I absolutely love and so I put the same pocket in because I, I like that and I mean you can these pages are interchangeable so you can use you know if you purchase this one and you purchase this one you can make several different books so I wanted to show you guys that hope you like it let me know what you think and talk to you later happy scrapping bye bye